Hi, I'm John the Engineer, and this is the last post on the Halliburton Kawartha Lakes Brock by election to seat John Tory, leader of the Conservative Party, and he lost by a nose. And had he played his cards better, he might have won. I'm looking into that. So, anyway, this is the final report on that by election. And uh, I didn't win again, so it's my 68th loss out of 69 races with the one called off that I didn't lose. Well, first I decided to correct the impression that I was at fault. I wrote to the Minden Times, the Halliburton Echo, and the Lindsay Post letters to the editor, which basically said, because they passed around the same story, I must correct the official story that independent John Turmel was taken into custody and ejected from the Weldon High School debate because he arrived in town without confirming his attendance. And when he was told he could not participate in the debate, he launched into a loud protest at the stage. Security escorted him out. Well, it wasn't some security guard taking Jiu-Jitsu John into custody for ejection from the all-candidates debate. It was an officer with a badge and a gun. It was not my fault that I did not confirm. It was the fault of the Chamber of Commerce for failing to inform me of a never-before need to confirm attendance at an all-candidates debate. First, they told me Elections Ontario did not have my phone number for a week. It's on a nomination form. And though the Elections Ontario page does have our websites, it doesn't list our phone numbers. So they could have gotten my phone number by calling Elections Ontario directly or going to my home page to get it. Then they said that when they finally got my number and called that morning, nobody answered, as if my invalid 80-year-old one-legged mother who lives with me had gone for a walk. So they misdialed at best, lied at worst, and refused to correct their error. So I got taken into custody for my maximum resistance to the denial of the democratic process while my gutless chicken shit opponents mutely looked on. So anyway, we're going to see what they print if not. But let's face it, all the candidates were gutless chicken shits who just looked on. Not one of them spoke up. And that's what made it a grand opportunity for John Tory to show some leadership and show up as liberal opponent. And he missed the chance. Now, would it have made a difference? Well, here are the results from the Ontario government webpage. And out of 36,000 votes, the Liberal got 15,000 and a bit. And Tory got 15,000 less a little bit. Difference of 900 votes, 2.5%. And uh, the Green got 2,000, or sorry, 3,000 and a bit. Or was it the Green? Where is he? The Green Party got 2,352, and the New Democratic Party got 2,117, so the Greens beat the NDP. Wow, that's a pretty interesting shot. Even considering the Green Party was somewhat fractured by the fact that the candidate took the nomination without an election. So, you know, it was a crooked operation to get their guy in there, and they still beat the NDP. And then the other four little guys, Freedom Party, Family Coalition, Independent, and me, got 900 votes among us. And I got 92 votes from one meeting. Well, actually two, dragged out of the other one. So, 92, quarter of a percent. Ah, oh, well, can't complain too much. So, anyway, did John Tory blow his big chance? He lost by 900 votes, 2.5%. Think about all the criticism he received for being a parachute candidate and all those liberals who went out because he was a parachute candidate to get him. And maybe all those Tories who stayed home because he was a parachute candidate. And I gave him a golden opportunity while the other lumps on the log, chicken shit, gutless wimps were sitting there. He could have stood up and said, no, 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 we must have all candidates on the debate, and if you don't, I'm going to have to leave. And he would have made the news being a hero. Who knows, maybe those Tories who didn't bother to vote come out that time to vote for him would have. 
And maybe those liberals who went out to vote against them may not have when he showed up their boy on a question of democracy. So it's an interesting question of whether John Tory, standing up for my rights, would have won him the election or not. Only 900 votes, 2.5%. So, when you consider that he was probably waiting for his handlers to tell him what to do and can't think fast on his feet, faced with a moral dilemma and no handlers to tell him what to do, so he just sat there and he blew his golden opportunity to be the hero of the event and to put the liberal opponent down. And he got beat by the liberal, who was just as bad a chicken shit as he was, by only... 900 votes. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it, eh? Had he showed some balls while the others did not, he might have actually made a big difference. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the story of the John Tory finished from politics. And let's face it, who needs another Bay Street wuss lawyer in politics? You know, so not much loss. I gave him his big chance and he blew it. So that election is over. I hope the papers published the correction that left the impression that I was at fault. And, of course, uh, what can I say? The police were called as regular whenever I'm going to be cheated. You want to cheat me, expect the police to be called, because I provide maximum resistance, and they have to use maximum force. And in this case, where they made the mistake, they still use maximum force. What a shame. Too bad they couldn't be punished.